Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title and probably the reason you clicked on this video is because you want to learn how you can grow your Instagram in five easy ways. So today I just wrote down a little list of what you need to do to grow your Instagram and things that I do to help myself grow my Instagram as well and some things that I also need to do. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it and go off of the notes that I have and we'll just kind of chat a little bit about what I think you should do to grow your Instagram. These are gonna be like beginner steps. So some of these tips you might already know, but some of them you may not. So we're just gonna get started. So this is a tip for anyone who is trying to grow their Instagram or anyone who is a friend of someone who's trying to grow their Instagram. Something that is so, so, so important is having engagements or interactions. So let's say on a picture you post, you get four comments. Those four comments are going to help you, but they're not going to help you as much as if you got 10 comments or 20 comments or 30 comments. So you really want your followers to be interacting with your posts, commenting, and if you have any friends that understand what you're doing or anything like that that you can be like hey listen like I need you to comment I would highly recommend doing that because that's definitely going to help you can also do engagement groups but that's a little bit harder and like a little tricky with Instagram you don't want to get like banned or anything like that so that's a little bit harder but honestly it helps a lot if you have like a specific group of people that are always commenting on your pictures and just going to like hype up your content. So in another category, I have something else that's gonna help with that. But for now, we're just talking about interactions. So when someone comments on your picture as well, you should be able to have the time to respond to those comments right when they come through. So when I post my picture, um, I post it at a specific time and then I have time to sit there and respond to the comments. I know not everyone has that ability, but I definitely recommend trying to respond to your comments. Don't just favorite them or like them. Make sure that you are actually responding to them and saying thank you or commenting back. And then in return, you should be commenting on other people's pictures as well. Because if I commented on your picture and then you just like totally disregard mine, that's not gonna make me wanna comment on your picture next time. So always try to like gas people up in their comments. So if they're a photographer, be like, oh my gosh, amazing shot, like I love this shot, whatever. If they're an influencer and they post an outfit pic, oh my gosh, I love your outfit. Things like that are going to make the person feel good about their photo, about themselves, and it's also going to help their photo grow which in turn should be helping you grow as well they should be helping you you should be helping them and vice versa it's going to continue on and on and on and on and you guys should grow together and also when you comment on people's pictures your name is going to be in their comment section which is going to give you a little bit of exposure i mean not everyone goes in the comment section and clicks on the people but sometimes i do i see a name pop up and i'm like oh or I know this person, why am I not following them? I'll click on it and I'll follow them. So those are some quick little interaction tips that are going to help you grow your Instagram account. Next is going to have to do with commenting, but it's going to be how you get comments. So something that I don't do very often is a caption that has a purpose or a meaning and or that is something like a little bit longer, a little bit more special to me. I know not everyone's gonna sit there and read the caption, and that's why you want an engaging photo as well. You want something that's going to catch their eye, but you also want people to be commenting. You can write something that deserves a congratulations or is asking a question that's getting them thinking. I don't personally like to do questions because I feel like a lot of people don't like to interact so that it just leaves your comment section empty and you don't have any people responding. So when I post a caption that has a meaning or it has something that people can comment automatically back. So if I post a picture of myself and someone's sitting there trying to think of a caption, they're gonna just keep moving on. But if I post a picture and it deserves congratulations or wow, I'm proud of you or that's amazing, those are super easy things that are gonna come to your mind while you're reading the caption or looking at the photo even. That's gonna help the audience kind of understand what to put out there and what to give back. If you can't even caption your picture, how are they supposed to reply to your picture and comment on your picture? So you definitely need to have captions that are going to be 
easy to read but kind of give you something to think about give you something to comment about so that you have something more than just your photo so you can have a long caption which is going to be something like i just talked about it's going to be a little bit more of like a personal caption um, you can talk about your feelings you can talk about mental health you can talk about some achievements um, fitness literally anything you want you can talk about and then for the short captions it's going to be something that's a little bit more trendy um like on brand type thing and those probably won't get as many comments um but those pictures may get the comments of oh my gosh i love your outfit or you look so pretty today or your hair looks amazing things like that but for the ones that are going to be more of a longer caption those are going to get the responses and they're going to get more comments overall you want captions that are going to actually raise a question or get them thinking or get them commenting have a easy way for them to interact with your photo so the next thing is going to be consistency i talked about this in my youtube growth video as well so if you guys want to check that out i'll have it linked below but basically consistency is super important if you're posting once every three months that's going to give you no exposure at all people aren't going to really care about your photos it's not going to give you what you want or what you're looking for especially if you're watching this video you're looking for more exposure i think it's super important to first of all have a instagram business account where you can go through and see what times work best for you when your interactions are the highest so for me i like to post at noon because my interactions start around one to three so when i post at noon it gives people time to see it that's when they're the most interactive on my personal page everybody's page is different but i always try to post within the time frame and also i sometimes get too much in my head and i'm like i didn't post at 12 so i'm not going to post because it's not going to do well but honestly it's more important to post than the number of interactions the number of likes anything like that when I go on someone's Instagram, I'm not looking at their numbers. I'm looking at what it looks like. I'm looking at how many photos they have. Do they look like someone that I would want to hang out with or that I would want to interact with? So things like that are definitely going to help you grow. I definitely recommend having consistency on your Instagram because people are going to kind of expect a photo. So say you post every single day, I'm expecting a photo every single day. If you stop posting for months, I'm gonna be so confused. Find a schedule that's going to work for you and your Instagram account. Don't do what other people do just because you think that's what you have to do. Um, definitely do what works for you and your followers will understand that and will also interact with you and be there for it as well. Okay, so next is going to be purpose. So when people follow an Instagram account, they usually follow it because there's a reason to follow it. So on my Instagram account, like I'm not just posting pictures of my outfits. I'm not just posting pictures of hair. I'm kind of all over the place, which makes it harder for people to understand what my Instagram is about. So for me, I need to work on kind of like curating an idea of what I want my Instagram to be and then making it that when you go on someone's instagram so say i was a fitness instagrammer when you go on my instagram so i should have captions that are making my followers think that are making them get up and be motivated and go and work out and things like that because that's what people follow you for if you're a page for fitness my pictures should be fitness based not every single photo has to be fitness related but majority of them should be fitness based so in the topic of fitness you could do food you could do workout clothing you could do like actual workout you could do so much with that and that's going to fall into the one aspect that you want your instagram to be so when you go on to your instagram it's going to be wow they're a fitness person you can tell that right off the bat from their photos who they are why they're there what they provide to you so consumers on instagram don't want to really think too much what they want is to be able to go on your page, know what you do, and follow you because they want to follow you. When they go on your page, it's going to right away, it's going to tell them what they're there for. And if it doesn't, then it's not going to get as many followers, which is something that I need to work on, which is why I'm making this video because I want to work on these things together with you guys, just like with my YouTube one. So now moving on to tip number five. For quality, you want photos that are going to be good quality. You're going to want photos that look nice, that have a nice background, that are relevant to the seasons, that inspire people. If you have a fashion page, you need to have like fashion forward photos. I found that on my page, 
more like lifestyle type of things do better than if I was to post like a shoot for modeling. Those don't do as well as the ones wet that I do for just like myself. Um, so you have to kind of know what people want, but also I still post quality photos. It might not be taken on a like DSLR, but it's definitely taken on an iPhone with good quality and the photo is gonna be crisp. It's not going to be blurry. You can add all your like effects to it and everything like that after the fact. Initially, you're going to want a photo that is crisp and clear. You don't want it to be blurry. You don't want it to be dark. You don't want it to look any type of way that's not going to appeal to your followers. When you have a feed or even if you're just looking at your Instagram on its feed and you don't have something like very cohesive. So some people have like a white theme or some people have um, like a dark theme, some people have light, etc. A lot of the influencers have like a light theme. They like the whites, clean, crisp kind of colors. That is going to be like an Instagram feed and that's going to honestly be very hard. I have a hard time with that, but I definitely want to get more into the photography aspect of it so like the composition of the photos and all that stuff is definitely going to help your instagram look more cohesive but another thing that i already do that i think is really important is i use an app called unum and you can just go on i'm sure there's like a bunch of them as well like different ones but you can go on and it shows your instagram of what pictures you've posted and then it shows you can add photos of what you want to post. It's not just about the side-by-sides, shows up on a grid. So you want the grid to have a good amount or like mix of photos. So if you're posting a selfie every single day, then your whole feed is just going to be selfies. And if that's your brand, if you're doing makeup selfies, then yeah, obviously it's gonna be selfies. But if you're doing like lifestyle like I'm doing, then you need to mix it up. So I have like a photo of me standing, then I have a photo of me sitting, then I have a selfie, then I have whatever. You wanna get those like different angles and everything so that your feed doesn't look just like very boring and standard. Something else you can try is different locations as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking like the same photo in the same location every single time. It will definitely get boring and repetitive unless you're doing some like crazy poses and stuff like that. But for the most part, I feel like you need to kind of spice it up. So I definitely recommend taking pictures at different locations. Don't always take it at like a blank wall. Take it with some texture in the background. Um, you can blur out the background. You can do a bunch of different things, but I definitely recommend trying different angles, trying different poses, trying different locations. It's definitely going to spice up your Instagram. I think that will definitely help make your Instagram look a little bit more unique. And even in your feed, although it goes together, I think it will give your pictures a little bit more individuality and stand out in that as well. So I think that's going to be everything for the little tips that I have. Those were the five tips. So I just have a few things to mention based off of some of the questions you guys asked on Instagram. I thought I would kind of like touch on this a little bit. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can always participate in these videos. Sometimes I ask you to ask me questions at the end. So I will have my Instagram linked here so that you can check me out and interact with me as well. So just another little tip quickly, although I touch on quality and I think it's super important, it's also important just to get out there and post, take pictures. I think it's super important to grow as you go. So when I first started YouTube, for example, my videos, not so great. Even now, I'm sure when I look back on my videos, I'm gonna think, wow, what was I doing? For me now, when I look back on my videos when I first started, I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't you do this? Or you could have done this, or all these ideas I have, or like, why is your lighting so bad? How do you not know these things? But it's just a process. You're not gonna know everything when you start out, but as you go, you're gonna get better. So just keep posting, don't be too hard on yourself. Definitely still have quality photos, but you don't have to perfect it right away. You're gonna grow from it, and also your followers are gonna follow you along your journey of growth, which is way more important than just following someone who already has everything together and is perfect already. I think that's my little spiel for the day. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. So if you guys are looking to grow your Instagrams and you want to kind of like have a community or anything like that, then definitely drop your Instagram handle down below and we can start the growth together here. I think that is everything. Make sure you comment your Instagram handle down below so we can interact, hang out, and kind of grow together. With that being said though, that is everything. So I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.